Yes guys, welcome back to another video and today it is the weekend so you know what that means is our end of week analysis. If you haven't watched the two previous end of week analysis videos, we've got end of week one and end of week two. If you scroll down, you'll be able to find them. We basically go over all the trades we took during the week and we compare our win rates compared to when we back test the week compared to when we've taken the trades live. What back testing is, you can see here that it's not obviously the Monday the 4th of March, but we're able to replay the market back to that point of time. So the whole point of back testing your trades is to see what kind of thinking you are having when there's no pressure of the live market actually moving compared to when you were in the live market taking the trade. So we're going to compare our win rate to when we back test the trades compared to when we've live traded it. We have our trusty little journal. We've got our trades won, which were either in the AM session or the PM. We've got our trades lost, which were either in the AM or the PM. So for starting off, we've got Monday. Jump on the five minute to mark out our buy side liquidity. So right here, you can see we've got this equal high. So we're gonna mark that out there. But our sell side at the bottom of this low. So now we switch to the one minute. We want price to sweep buy side liquidity which we just had right now you can see here we've just had our buy side swept so now what we want is a fair value gap to form after we've had that sweep from the buy side and the reason why we want our buy side to be swept or our buy side or sell side to be taken out that will determine our bias or where i think price is going to go if it sweeps out the buy side i'll be looking for sales if it sweeps out the sell side i'll be looking for buyers because i personally believe that the london session is basically manipulating so it will go to the upside and then be looking to sell off or possibly be manipulating to the downside and then looking to come back up. We've got our fair value gap which is formed right here. Now what we want is a retracement back into that fair value gap and this can be just one candle back in. So like so, we've had our candle which would have tapped in to the fair value gap right there. So we would have got in on that tap in. So short position, stop loss above the high. So we know if we get stopped out, we're wrong. Risk reward of one to two, keeping that discipline taking that profit right there so that's a nice little winning trade that is an am session winner so, so we're coming into the pm session now these previous equal highs uh last week and then we've got our sell side at the bottom of these lows now we're going to switch to our one minute time frame we want to see our buy side or sell side taken out so that's our buy side taken out so we've got our change of character right here so our change of character is basically the change of market structure price can be going into one direction and then basically have a bit of consolidation and then switch to another direction. So maybe go into the upside, consolidate, come back to the downside. That would be our change of character or market structure shift. It really depends. It doesn't matter what you call it, but just the overall idea of it is what matters. So right there, we've got our buy side sweep and we also have our fair value gap, which formed right there. There is our retracement. We're gonna short that, put our stop loss just above the high, risk reward of one to two. As you can see, guys, we have just been stopped out. So that's a PM session loser. You can see here, we've just had price wick out the sell side. We want to look for a deeper sweep of the sell side. I don't feel like that's enough confirmation. We're going to wait for better confirmation. Downtrend forming here. So we're going to look for price to want to break this trend. So right here, guys, we've just had our sweep of the sell side. This is a lot better confirmation, in my opinion. And now what we want is our fair value gap to form. So right there is our fair value gap. And now we want our retracement back in. There you have it. So that is our trigger for our long position. There you have it guys, just smash TP. And that is a, another AM session winner. So come to the next session, we switch to our five minute. We have our clear liquidity right here on this equal high. Our sell side liquidity at the bottom of this low. So now switch to our one minute time frame. Now we want to see a price take out one of these highs. So you can see here, price was moving to the upside, high which is formed, and now price is moving to the downside. So that is our market structure shift. We also have an order block right here, which is price has reacted off of. Right there, we have our retracement back to the fair value gap. So we're gonna short this, stop above the high, take profit, risk reward of one to two. So let's see how this goes. There you can see guys, we've just been stopped out. This will be a AM session loser. So we've got Mark out our buy side on the five minute time frame and the sell side. So now we're going to switch to our one minute. We have this order block right here. So now we're hoping price will bounce off this order block and go to the upside and take out our buy side. 
So right there, we didn't have price common tap into the buy side. And when we did, it broke through completely and has shifted market structure completely. So you can see here, we have this change of character and price has just gone to the upside. So that is a trade not taken. Here is our buy side liquidity. With this relative equal highs touching, got a clear sell side at the bottom of these lows. So now we'll switch to our one minute time frame. Coming into the session, just some mean consolidation. No trade taken on the Thursday AM session. Now let's move on to the PM. Buy side and sell side has been set up. We've already had price break through the buy side. And right there, as you can see, we have had no trade opportunity taken. All right, so it was the last trading day of the week, Friday. So we are now gonna go over our AM session. So as usual, we are marking out the buy side and sell side. So right there, we've just had price sweep out our sell side we've got our fair value gap just formed right in here so even though it is a minuscule fair value gap a fair value gap is still a fair value gap doesn't matter how small or how big you can't deny the fact it's still a fair value gap now we're going to wait for our retracement back in we also have our change of character which applies right here and now we're going to wait for our retracement there we had our retracement so we can get in on that long position right here sticking to our risk order one to two that is three Friday AM winners. Price taking out our buy side liquidity there, along with our change of character. We have our fair value gap. We want a retracement back into that fair value gap. Right there, you can see this next candle has tapped into it. So that is our trigger to get in for our sole position. Our stop loss just above the high. And now I'll take profit at a risk reward of one to two. So right there, guys, you can see we smashed TP. That right there is another AM session winner and that is our trading week back tested and done. So at the end of it, we've come to four wins, which were all in the AM session and two losses, one in the AM session and one in the PM session. So that comes out to four winners and two losses. We're gonna go over all my videos that I uploaded during the trading week. And I think that was around four videos. So that will allow me to look over all the live trades I took and calculate my win rate from there and compare it to my win rate from when we've back tested. And then it can sort of give me an idea of where I'm going wrong, why am I taking these trades and what I need to do better for next time. And that is how I will improve as a trader. So we're here on the channel. You can see right here, we've got day 17 and the week two analysis. So go check that out if you haven't already. So let's see here, did we take the winner? Okay, so we smashed TP on the first Monday. So that's the AM session. And it appears that we did take a long on here. Another AM session winner, which was on the Tuesday. So I believe I took two losses on Wednesday. This was also a PM session loser. So that was three losses in the space of two days. We go on to our last day, which was Friday. No trade taken in the AM. It was the, literally the trade we just back tested. You guys can see that live in the flesh. On the live stream, we took that trade. And I'll come out to equate to three wins taken that week. Three wins taken last week. So two were in the AM, one in the PM. Three losses last week, one in the AM and two in the PM. Three wins, three losses. And it doesn't take a genius to work that out. 50% win rate. We'll calculate our win rate from the back tested week we've just done. The way to calculate your win rate, if you don't know how to do that already. So you do winning trades divided by the amount of trades you've taken times that by 100. Four winners divided by six trades taken in total and then times that by 100 and that leaves us with a 66% win rate. So the 66% win rate back tested and a 50% win rate traded on the live. So that is actually very good contrast. Obviously the back tested week I do expect is going to be better than the live trade taken itself because obviously I can take more time looking over the chart and there's not as much pressure of actually being in the live market and having my money risked on the line. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We'll be streaming for the whole of next week. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp.